And it's ready to go, guys. Look at how beautiful it turned out, guys. Alright guys, welcome back to JRU Productions. Get started with my mom. She's preparing a double decker cake for a special church event. Goody. So it looks like she's measuring out a swan downs cake flour. And you see how much is this? Um about a little bit under two cups right there. We have some ingredients getting ready. Got some eggs right here, okay. the strainer, and also no, this uh, special this sunbeam uh Electric mixer. Okay, it looks like she's just trying to get it down to fine powder. Depending on what flavor you're going for, we're using the vanilla extract. We'll provide that. Vanilla flavor to it. I believe they have different ones: strawberry, chocolate. But we go with vanilla. So maybe Coffee, that's all we have left. All right, uh, we're adding about um, looks like two teaspoons of what kind of oil is this? Olive oil. Okay, and I believe we're going with fourteen medium-sized eggs today. Actually, I'm sorry, large eggs. Putting in this processor right here. And I believe you're supposed to separate, oh, I remember now, you're supposed to separate the white and the uh, yolk. It's been a while since I made it personally. So you just separate it, and the yolk goes in with the cake flour. All right, so per directions, typically people want to add probably two cups, but my mom don't want to make it too sweet. I mean, it is a cake after all, but so we're trying to reduce the amount of salt. We're going with about one and one half cup of salt. Now we're going to add some cream of tartar. I believe that's to make it rise. We're going with a quarter teaspoon. Si fan yet. Si fan yet. Four. That's the egg white that you see in the processor right here. Two times of. Sam got. Sam got already. Three and. All right, my bad. So maybe um three quarters. All right, now we're gonna start up the processor. How long are we gonna do it? So we're gonna start out with a uh, light blend, start. I think, light mixing. Start slow. How long? Few minutes. Few minutes. Oh my my. We're intermittently adding sugar. So what you want is to build up a, a thickening texture. All right, and that's the texture you're looking for. A solid, non-runny, type of texture, kind of like a whipped cream that you take out from the, uh, well, a little bit thicker thicker than whipped cream, mm -hmm. similar to that texture. That looks perfect right there. That's when this um, food mixer comes in handy. Otherwise, you would have to hand mix it by hand. And trust me, I've tried it. It is tough. Okay, now it's time to mix in with the uh, cake flour with the <laughs> yolk side. 
car is slow. The actually increase in speed. Similar to the other one, but of course, less ingredients in here, so it should take half the amount of time, maybe. Mix egg yellow, the egg yolk with the egg white. No cheese, I guess. This will be a big cake, all right. So now my mom's hand mixing it. You just want it to be a well mixed texture. It shouldn't take that long. I would say probably like a minute. Just want it to be all blended in together. So we're looking for like an off white color. All right, so here comes the fun part. We want to mix in the mixture, cake mixture, onto this cake container. It comes in different size and different shapes. We're going with a typical big diameter one making a two level double decker cake so you want to do is mix it in by the way this is a wax paper on the bottom it is uh, held together by this uh, strap metallic strap which prevents it from getting loose and you want to shake it out a little bit wait here we have two already done all right, so we set the oven to 350 degrees. I believe we're gonna put it in there for about uh, roughly 25 minutes. All three of them go in there. It's perfectly. It's gonna turn out great, guys. Guys, 25 minutes up. Yeah, that looks perfect. Look at how fluffy the rear one is. That's the one that we want. You want to do that, otherwise it's going to deflate. Yeah. This one is perfect. Yeah, so we flipped it over. And we'll rise to it to prevent from shrinkage. Alright, it's time to decorate the cake. As you can see, we're slicing up some kiwi, two kiwi fruit, and some small strawberry. Or if it's too big, we're going to cut it in the proper size. It's going to be so colorful and delicious. And have some nice blueberries right here. Alright, now it's time to remove the cake. It's a little bit thin. I'm expecting it to be, actually I was expecting it to be like um, twice as thick. The texture turned out pretty nice, but of course we're adding another topping to it. So sometimes you have to make additional pieces to the right depth or the thickness that you want. Some. We're decorating the banana. We add it to the middle. Inner you know, layer cake goodness. All right, time to make things even better, sweeter. With the whipped cream, we we'll add some in the middle for the filling. Gotta have that. And then we'll add some of these banana slices in there. Typically I want something crunchy, like walnuts or pecan, but I don't think we're gonna add it this time. I don't think we have the other ingredients. That's what I would personally put on there. So my mom decorating it. So you want pretty much every bite, every slice to have these ingredients in there. I would probably put more whipped cream in there. You're gonna probably layer it on top of the banana. And this is the inside goodness. All decked out. Top it with another layer of whipped cream. We gotta save enough for the other cake too. So we don't wanna overdo it with too much sweetness. Some people might be on a diet. Okay. Now we're gonna top it off like a hamburger bun, right? Look at that. Make 
make sure it's even. Perfect size with the perfect shape. Now we're gonna just basically lather the whipped cream in, fill our air every nook and cranny, even on the side and top. It's like a huge Oreo, isn't it? Looks like we pretty much have all the nook and cranny, but we want to make it even. It's a little bit like, uh, you know, that messy wall paint. We don't want it to be like that. We want it to be smooth, nice and smooth. Let's work it in. Now it's the fun part, guys. Decorate out. I'm gonna help out. I need that. That's it. Oh, my mom wants to go with alternating colors. One kiwi and one strawberry. I think she's trying to dry out the fruit. Because that moisture is going to make it dip and ruin the cake. I think I'm understanding the pattern that my mom is going for. It's going to be beautiful. Look at this beautiful work of art. Edible work of art. We're finishing off. Keeping it simple. Maybe we have some type of uh, swirls. Maybe put that on there on the side. But we don't have any of those additional sprinkles or colorful cool whip. Addition. Look at how beautiful it turned out, guys. Kiwi, blueberry, strawberry, whipped cream, and some of these little baby nectarine oranges. Every bite, every cut, it's going to be filled with delicious natural flavor. This is a healthy cake, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video recipe. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and Thanks to my mom for making this cake. It's a collab. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And it's ready to go, guys.